SpaceX has really come a long way. After the Launch 3 failure, Elon really put the pedal to the metal with the Starship, and their fourth flight was such a big success that SpaceX decided to speed up the schedule of their flights. As a result, the fifth test flight is just around the corner and it will be much, much more important than the previous one. Here's what you need to know about it. First, we should tackle the goal of the test flight, as well as what makes it so much more special than the previous ones. You see, what makes Flight 5 so much more special than the previous flights is the fact that SpaceX is going to try and catch the Super Heavy Booster for the first time ever. SpaceX will use Ship 30 and Booster 12 for this flight, and the primary goal of the flight will be SpaceX's attempt of first ever return to a launch site with the booster. This is extremely important, as if SpaceX succeeds at their goal, they will set a massive checkpoint towards achieving the Starship's sustainability plans. As you know, SpaceX intends on making the Starship fully reusable for the future, as this would mean that the overall cost for flying to the moon and even further than it will be considerably cheaper than before as you won't need to make a completely new starship. In addition to that, this will also be of massive importance for ecology as it means that SpaceX will pollute much less than any other spaceship maker company. Additionally, the Starship will perform re-entry for the third time as well as a landing burn and it will be aiming for a successful on-target splashdown in the Indian Ocean. This is very important as the third flight had a massive problem when re-entering the atmosphere which resulted in the Starship burning down. The fourth flight was far more successful, but it too had an issue with its thermal protection layer, which unfortunately partially disintegrated, and SpaceX is aiming at testing out the improvements they made for Starship 30. As you can see, all of this is a pretty big bite, which makes us wonder how will this be achieved? Let's first get the smaller problem out of the way, which is the heat shield. You see, even though Ship 29 made it through re-entry and fully completed the fourth flight, the heat shield took much more damage than was expected. As a result, SpaceX has decided to replace the heat shield tiles as well as the underlying blankets from Ship 30 with a better solution. The underlying blankets will be replaced by a completely new ablative material and the tiles themselves will be replaced by a completely new design that is meant to withstand much greater abuse than those used on Ship 29. However, the bigger and much more interesting thing we need to tackle is how SpaceX will catch the booster. To do this, SpaceX will use specifically developed chopstick arms which will be attached to the launch tower at Starbase site in South Texas. These chopstick arms were specifically designed to lift both the Super Heavy and the ship and their new function will come because of modification and extensive practice. SpaceX will control the booster's speed when it returns to Tower A at Starbase and will then attempt to catch it using these arms and retain maximum control over the return of the Super Heavy. Yes, we know, this all seems like an impossible task at first glance, however don't think that SpaceX came unprepared. In fact, Elon Musk is confident that they will be able to catch the booster completely successfully. They've already tested out the arms, and in their testing and simulations as well as practice, the probability of them working as intended and the mission being a complete success is extremely high. However, as good as all this sounds, we must answer a much more concrete question, and that is, when will the flight happen? SpaceX says that the rocket has been ready to fly since early August, but has had its launch delayed by the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. Initially, it was delayed to September, however, the FAA then decided to move it to November 2024 due to environmental complaints and a long licensing problem. 
However, the FAA reiterated that SpaceX was already issued a license that authorized multiple flights using the same mission profile as Flight Test 4. However, because SpaceX chose to attempt a catch of the Super Heavy booster, it triggered a more in-depth review. A couple of days ago though, SpaceX announced that it was planning to launch Flight Test 5 as early as 13th of October, however, a minor delay might occur. This is the alternative if the delay occurs. However, this was delayed for a few more days. But the fifth launch brings with it something even more important, which is an even faster flight schedule than ever before, meaning that the next flight will happen much faster than you'd anticipate. So with that in mind, when can we expect Flight 6? As previously mentioned, much, much faster than before. The sixth flight will use Ship 31 and Booster 13, both of which are already pretty much ready for the flight. In fact, Booster 13 already had its static fire tests at Starbase. SpaceX also noted that they intend to go for a speedy turnaround after Flight 5 and that they will be sending Booster 13 to the OLM for further testing. Additionally, Ship 31 is also going through a series of changes concerning its thermal protection system tiles, just like Ship 30. This will drastically aid the vehicle during re-entry into the atmosphere, and the new heat shield will be far more resilient than the old one, and will most probably go under additional fixes and updates after the Flight 5 concludes and shows us what was wrong with that re-entry. As of now, the flight profile for the sixth flight is still unknown, however we will be getting updates on it soon after the fifth flight concludes. As for the launch date, SpaceX has estimated that the launch will occur later this year, meaning that we'll only have to wait a month or two, which is some serious time shedding compared to the gap between flight 5 and flight 4. We expect the launch to be set for mid to early December, albeit this might change for the better or for worse depending on the success of Flight 5. In addition to that, the FAA might also find another excuse to prolong the launch date and honestly we're not sure when it will happen, but SpaceX still intends on it happening in late 2024. And what do you expect from Flight 5? Do you think that it will be as successful as SpaceX intends it to be? Or do you think that there is a reason to be worried? Be sure to let us know in the comment section down below.